great evening. <clears throat> Excuse my Christmas puppy. <laughs> Christmas puppy nightgown here. <clears throat> but this evening I wanted to talk a little bit about ostomies and your stoma. And as you go, things change size, etc. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I have a colostomy, not an ileostomy. And when I had the surgery done, which was mid-April of this year, the uh, stoma was, it was about that large and it was recessed. So what they sent me home with was the Hollister. Now the Hollister was not working for me so well. So I tried the um, Convitec and I was the Convitec, while I didn't have a such leaking, the adhesive on my skin was just horrid. Um, whatever adhesive they were using, I could not use it. It was ripping my skin off, basically. <laughs> I would not, that doesn't work so well. <clears throat> so then I found the Coloplast Sensor Amio, and that's what I've been using. So this is the Convex. So to put it on, you're, you um, warm it up, you peel this part off, and then I hold it by here so that you don't get your fingers on the uh, adhesive that you need. You're going to cut it out before you take that off. You cut it out to the size of your stoma. Now, like I said, when I started, it was like to here. Well, now it's, I made this little template <clears throat> for my stoma and I put it over there so I can match it. So now you can see that that's really the whole, the whole thing. My stoma has gotten that much larger. <clears throat> so it's at the point that if it gets any larger, I have to move to a different one, to the yellow, which is going to be larger. Instead of a 50 mil millimeter flange, it would be a 60. So um, when I am wearing this one, you know, it goes this way on your skin because it's going to push. You're going to have this part open and it pushes your stoma out so it's protruding instead of being recessed and it's real easy to use you just take the bag you peel this off this is adhesive and you stick it on here and you're done so changing the bag is really simple you just pull that adhesive off clean clean here and uh, make sure this is dry <clears throat> And then you stick another bag on. Easy breezy. But the thing I found with these is that when you're wearing them, I'm not the biggest person, and when you're wearing them and you go to lean forward or something, you're kind of digging into you a bit. So, and then I also have a hernia, which is pushing out from the top of my stoma, <clears throat> which is very common that happens. So um, I was looking into something else. Now they have this other system, the pedal <clears throat> for hernia, which is great. I mean, you cut this out, you peel this off, you got it like that, you push it on, then you and then after it's on, you push these forward, okay, and it uh, then um, <clears throat> goes right around your hernia, okay, which works great. But then, the thing I don't like, it's the click system. So you've got this hard thing here. 
you've got this system <clears throat> you've got to get this to snap on let me open this a minute this um, <clears throat> opens you see that kind of open you get it to um, once you have it on your body you have to get it to snap on now I have trouble getting this to, there you heard it click once it clicks then you take this little blue thing and you close it which it's not doing see I have such trouble with this system <clears throat> once you get it on and you get this blue on and that clicks shut it's not going to come off but I have difficulty with this system getting it on <clears throat> now I really really like this adhesive so what I'm trying is this it's 50 millimeters so you can see through the bag here I cut off I cut off these tabs here cut off that around there and the bag does stick on here <clears throat> like the other system now I did try pulling the bag off you were able to pull it off and to put another one on which I have not tried yet but I'm going to try it and see how it works because this does fit well around the hernia although they've said if your stoma your stoma has to stick out at least a half an inch to be able to use that system because it's not a convex that pushes it the skin around it to push your uh, stoma out <clears throat> now the other thing that I ordered and I ordered the wrong thing is <laughs> their flat one <laughs> now the flat one it's very flexible okay very flexible and again you you measure your stoma which this is a great way to do it you take a clear thing and lay it over your stoma and take a uh, marking pen and mark around the edge to get an exact fit so um, you put it on there I would mark it cut that out <clears throat> I warm this up so it sticks better and then the same thing you just peel this off and hold it by here when you go to stick it on so you're not touching the adhesive <laughs> or else you get it stuck to your fingers instead of your body and then put it on now <clears throat> I thought I would try this today because my stoma is sticking out a little bit not a lot a little bit but the opening for my stoma where the output comes out is uh, if you put this on here where my output is is right down here okay it's not in the center not up here it's my opening for my stoma is all the way down here so I thought well I'm gonna try it because this fits flat these other ones when it's on the outputs got to go over this okay over this part which it, again things get hung up so I've been trying this today and so far I just changed the bag not that it really needed it I had this on since morning <clears throat> but I wanted to take the bag off and see what it looked like and it looked like it's okay it doesn't look like I've got any leakage going on with it now again like I said this one is much more flexible um, 
So if you can get a good seal. Now the way I get a good seal on my products, I don't take the adhesive things off with an adhesive remover. <clears throat> Usually they come off okay for me. If I've worn them for three, four days, then I can take it off and I don't need an adhesive remover. Because I think sometimes if you use the adhesive remover and you don't get all of that off, that your adhesive, of course, it, it's not going to stick to your skin. You've just wanted to take the adhesive off. So again, if you don't get all of that off of your skin, your, uh, your appliance, whatever it is, whether it's this, whether it's this, whether it's the convex, whatever one you're using, it's, you're not going to get a good seal. <clears throat> so the way I clean the area, I don't use soap on it either because a lot of soaps have oils in them. Okay, I use a baby wipe that's 99% water. Clean the area really well with that. Dry it, let it air dry off. Then I take one of the simple, what is it, simple and smart, and uh, skin prep. Now those come in a large size, they're great, and I prep the skin, let that dry, and then I stick my appliance. <clears throat> and it's always worked quite well um, that way. Because I know a lot of people have trouble to get their appliance to stick. And I think part of it is using the um, adhesive removers and not getting it off. And then, of course, you just use that to get uh, an appliance off. And so to re-stick it, to stick it to your skin, you're going to have problems if you don't get all of that off. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to give this a try too. Um, tomorrow morning, I'll give this a try. And we'll see how it does. Um, so I can figure out if I need to change my system that I'm doing now. Which has been the um, Sensura Mio uh, Deep Convex. Okay. Now, this has worked pretty well. I very, very seldom have any type of uh, leakage, but once in a while I will get some um, output that may go under it a bit. So I just wanted to try some other options at this point since I've had this for, what is it, going on six months now or so, and just give it a try and see what the other ones do. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, so far I've worn this one this morning. Uh, I put it on this morning and just changed it and it looks to be okay. So we'll see. It's all a matter of which one you can use to get a really good seal and, uh, you know, like I said, the way I get a good seal is just clean the area really well with the 99% water baby wipe. You don't want one that's scented. You don't want one that's got all the oils in it. Okay. So you use that. Let it dry, air dry. Put on your skin prep. Let that dry well, then put your appliance. And that, i found, <clears throat> has been the best method uh, for things to work. And really important to, again, get the size of your stoma. Because you don't want to make it too big, because then you have skin, and when that output hits the skin, it's very painful. Okay, so you don't want that. You don't want to occlude your stoma. Um, you want to be able to have this sitting right 
under, well, in, in my case, my output comes down here, <clears throat> right under where that's at, with just a little bitty fraction that you can barely see to give it room to move, okay? Um, and that works well. But like I said, you know, you, you got to make sure that you're checking the size. And like I said, when I started, it was, you know, to, to this line here in between these. And now it's the whole, that whole thing. Um, not a full circle. It goes a little bit here, kind of oblong all the way to the edge here across here between those two and all the way to the edge there. <clears throat> so I am to the point of, I may have to go into a larger one if my stoma gets any larger, that opening for that. Uh, <laughs> the joys, I'm telling you. So on that note, I'll leave that here and we'll see you online.